I've served under two directors. Three now, I suppose. Trench and I worked our way up together. We made it through the tough cases, the bad days, the casualties. He was the epitome of a good agent. Smart, decisive, selfless. Then he picked up that damn gun. Becoming director is a formal process overseen by the board. Lots of ritual and mystery. After that, key staff provide detailed briefs on all classified matters. Past and present. But with fate... Well, there's no protocol for field promotion. The girl smart, has a good head on her shoulders. I'm trusting her to handle the hiss upstairs, while I hold them off here. All this shit with the nail, the board, I'm not sure she's ready. Besides, I work better alone. I snuck into the Foundation through a back door I know. Had to get ahead of the hiss. Just a matter of bypassing the ritual protections. Luckily, the board's as distracted as the rest of the Bureau. I had to put on a brave face up there. But the situation is the worst I've ever seen. We're getting back on our feet, but we've already lost so much. Trench is dead. Darling is... somewhere. I'm the only one left. But I still have a job to do. Keep the hiss back. There's not enough HRAs to spare, so I'll have to make do with what I've got. Frankly, I don't even know what will happen if the hiss take the nail. Trench made it sound like it'd be the end of the world. He was never one to exaggerate. Well, orders are orders even if they come from a dead man. The hiss got in. The Foundation is overrun. I was out of time and out of options. I took all the C4 I could get my hands on and strapped it to the nail. Boom. A desperate move, but it's better off in pieces than in enemy hands. Trench wouldn't be thrilled. He always said how vital the nail was. How it was the Bureau's duty to protect it. Bullshit. Those years spent in the director's chair warped his priorities. In the end, he valued order over people. The advice of invisible voices over that of old friends. He lost sight of who he was. The board made sure of that. But I did my duty. The hiss can corrupt a pile of smoking rubble. My last act as head of operations. I'm done. At least I could take those bastards down with me. I only heard of the Foundation when I became Head of Operations. The very bottom of the oldest house. Director access only. Just the name alone is classified. Zachariah gave me a tour the day I was promoted. Said I should see it for myself. To understand. After that, I snuck down on my own from time to time to keep tabs on the place. And on them. But nothing ever changed down there. Not even the walls. It's solid, permanent, different from the rest of the house. Of course, they were always watching me. I never stayed long. I'm not stupid. I have to stop the hiss from finding this place. I'm the only one who can. I tried to get out after the detonation, but the astral spike came out of nowhere. I escaped, but my HRA was damaged. I'd bet a year's salary the board sent it. We never did see eye to eye. They have too much control. Over Trench, the Bureau, 
The house. They make themselves part of every important process. Nothing a little C4 can't fix. Two birds, one bomb. Christ, what a mess. But I stopped the hiss. I did it. If Faden did her part, then the Bureau is safe. Until the next thing. Jesse has good reason to hate the Bureau. But that could be what we need right now. She won't follow the same path. Won't fall into the same traps. She'll lead her way. So, Director Faden, here's my last lesson. You can't save everybody.